Hello friends, today we will discuss about uh, the Selenium course. Let's just let me open Eclipse and I will tell you how uh, we can create some basic Java programs. And I will explain each and every concept in detail. Give me a moment. So first of all, uh, remember we have to select our browser path. Here we have to save the uh, project. Click on the launch button. In previous uh, lecture, I have told you that uh, we have to click on launch button. It is taking some time. Give me a moment. So it has been launched successfully. Now uh, again we can see the welcome window, we have to close this welcome window. So it was the previous program. Let us create the another project. Or uh, let me show you how uh, I can download the Selenium jar file. Again Java programming you can do without uh, Selenium jar file. But if you want to learn the, if you want to execute the Selenium code automatic website we have to download the selenium jar file let me show you from where we can download the selenium jar file click all these windows close all these windows now i will tell you uh, how we can write the selenium code first of all i have removed all the hole let me remove this so this will be your first condition so main function is missing from this function so let me create a separate class file from the starting. Let me delete them. Whenever you want to delete any class, then select the class, click on right click, click on delete button. It will ask for the confirmation, click on OK button. So it will delete the file. Again create a new class, demo session uh, demo session remember that first letter should be capital letter it is the recommendation from the selenium side or oh, it is a java recommendation click on public static void name click on finish button so now this is the default and this line is the comment so remember one thing and always set if we start from the double slash like this this is coming and never read and this line is never read this selenium code means this is not the part of the code now First of all, we have to create the object of the web driver. First step, we have to create the object of web driver interface. So what is WebDriver? WebDriver is basically an interface. So I will tell you in Java sessions what is the interface, what are the apps and classes. As of now, remember only one thing that WebDriver is an interface and we have to create the reference of the interface and object of interface we cannot create. Remember always object of interface. Remember always that object of an interface we can never create. So how to create the uh, reference of interface, right, web driver. This is the reference. We have to remember this line as of now. I will tell you what is web driver in the coming sessions, what is WD. As of now, you should remember that WD is a reference of WebDriver interface and Chrome Driver is a class. With the help of this reference, we can call the predefined functions. 
and predefined functional verb are predefined methods like open browser methods, close browser, browser methods, quit methods. So all methods we can call with the help of this reference. But as of now, it is showing error. Oh. If we read the error, it is saying Chrome driver cannot be resolved as a type. What does that mean? In our system, we have not installed the Selenium jar file. First of all, we have to install the Selenium jar file. Then only we can call the reference of the, uh, we can create the reference of the web driver and we can resolve this error. Now, how can we can, uh, how we can download the Selenium jar file in opengoogle.com? Write download Selenium jar file. It will show the first link selenium.dv download section. Click on the first link. This is the official website of the Selenium. Scroll down. So when we scroll down, it will show all the languages that are applicable for the Selenium. Ruby language, Java language, Python, C sharp, JavaScript. But as this course is related to the Java, so we have to concentrate on this. But all links are there. There is a download button. Click on this download. Look at this. It will start the downloading of the zip file. Open in the folder. So it is a zip file. And this one. Copy this. And save in any location. For example, I am uh, I am saving this file in the K drive. Extract this. So it will extract in this folder K drive. Extract all the things. So it has been extracted successfully in this folder. Now upon the screen, we have to uh, upload this jar file in our project. How we can upload this jar file in our project? Select the project, like my first project, right click, click on this properties. So now it has been already installed, but if it has not been installed, let me first remove this. Now, how we can install, click on add external jars, select application, open this file, where I uh, select all this. Click on open, uh, apply again. Click on add excellent jars. Open this library, select all the jars. Click on open, apply and close. So, in this way, we can download all the jar files. So, if we have downloaded all the jar files, then automatically one reference library will be created in your uh, path. And whenever you open this, Look at this, all the Selenium jar file has been, has been added successfully. So it is a very mandatory step and you should remember the steps. Now, if you try to open any jar file, it will not open directly. So we can download this or attach to our reference libraries, library. Now, open this demo session store Java. Look at this, whole mouse or this web driver. It is show import web driver. So it will show open web driver and this way we can import our ORG of our QA Selenium web driver. Import this file. This basically this is your package. And it is very well much mandatory to open this package. Now click the uh, hover mouse over this Chrome driver. And first link import com driver open org dot open qa dot selenium dot com click on this so automatically it will write this import statement and this package will be imported. Why we are importing uh, imported this selenium web driver package and com driver because these functions or these it uh, basically this is the interface has been defined into this uh, package. That's why we have to import this. Now this line has been written successfully. 
Now what happens when we try to run this code? Let us see what happens, whether it will run successfully or not. So it is showing an error, the path of the driver. Look at this error. Why it is showing this error? While running, the, running this, the path to the driver executable must be set this system property. So Selenium Eclipse is so smart it will automatically tell you where is the issue and what is the exactly issue and how we can solve this. So it is clearly say that we have to set the path of the system properties and what path it is talking about. Basically in Selenium architecture we told I have told you that in previous session that First of all, our code will interact with the web driver and web driver will interact with our browser. So we have to set the path with the web driver. And first before set the path, we have to install the web driver executable file in our system. Let me show you how we can install the web driver executable file in our system. So to install the web driver path, we have to open the official website and Go down. There would be a browser section. Uh, open this uh, browser section, and we are using the Chrome browser. So we have to select the Chrome browser documentation and click on this Chrome browser documentation. So it will navigate to the Chrome browser official website. Now it is showing that uh, Chrome driver. It is the current stable release. So what is the release of your browser? You have first of all you have to check this. What is the set version of your browser? Click on this icon, go this icon, and this, and click on help. Always about Google Chrome. It will show you the version of the Google Chrome. It is 81 point uh, 40 now. This is the current version. You can install the Chrome driver for this. Click on this one. So it will start the. So we will navigate to this repository. If you have a Windows 64 bit, then Win32 zip will work. If you have a Mac operating system, you should download this one Mac 64 dot zip. If you have an operating system of Linux, then you can use this operating system 64. As we have a 64 bit uh, operating system, now how you can check the operating, your operating system? Simple, click on computer, on PC, go to the sorry, on computer, go to the properties. Now, here from uh, here, you can check the configuration of your system. It is 64 bit operating system and windows we are using so we have to download this click on this it will start downloading now again copy this one and paste in, in any drive so you can paste here again extract this click on extract all extract so it will extract this when you double click on this click on ok so it will not execute because it is not exe file if you go to the properties of this file this is basically an executable file but with the help of selenium code you will call this file i will let you know how we can call this file with the help of selenium So uh, now I will tell you how we can set the system properties. So first of all, we have to write the system dot set properties as well as the system dot. Uh, it is a uh, set property. We need to call this one. Now. What is system? System is basically a class. Set property is a method of this class. With the help of this class, we can set the property. Means that we can tell the web driver where what is the location of the 
chrome driver so that it can call the chrome driver and chrome driver will call the uh, call your browser so there would be two argument first argument we have to give the first in first argument we have to tell the uh, like what is the exact property that we have to set in second argument we have to tell the path of the file where is our chrome driver is located basically this is the path now i will tell you which property we have to set so basically this is the property that we have to set web driver dot chrome dot driver and now we have to tell this the path where our chrome driver is located so our chrome driver is located in this path so copy this one and paste here it is from double slash double slash chrome driver dot exe chrome driver and it is let me it is exe so we have to get the path dot exe extension now our code is completed now we can run the code and it will successfully execute it so look at this it, it is opening the uh, chrome browser now it is opening google.com so in this way we can write uh, the code and execute it successfully so in next lecture i will tell you how we can maximize the browser how we can uh, set the timeouts what is how we can set the timeout and how we can find out the x path so all these things i will tell you in next lecture so thanks for watching this lecture